Hello everyone, back with some more pickups. As I said in the last video, I might be back this weekend. We'll see how it goes. But uh, Amanda got some stuff. She went out a different day, and I went out yesterday, and we both went out this morning. So nothing like that insane morning I had earlier in the week. That was ridiculous. But we did find some really, really good stuff, and had a bit of a trouble this morning on the way there. Amanda will talk about. Uh, but before that, I had a couple things I want to talk about quickly first. I was very, very excited. I went to a thrift store we hadn't been to probably yet this year, if you think about it. I, don't think, yeah, I really don't think probably so. Probably pretty close. One. And actually found some good stuff. I found In With The Records 3 Laserdisc. found the deluxe widescreen version of Cliffhanger with Stallone. Finding a lot more Laserdisc at thrift stores than ever before lately. And two volumes of Star Trek Next Generation. We have Interface and Gambit Part 1. So not only some TNG on Laserdisc, but late TNG on Laserdisc. So I found those. And then I guess we'll move into what happened to us this morning on our way to the thrift store before we continue. Sam broke my car. I had a break car. I was driving uh, Amanda's car and I stopped to get gas and noticed sort of a hissing sound, but at the gas station now they have you know the commercials playing at the station. There's so much noise I couldn't quite tell. So I went over to pull off to the side to get some air and dirt tires and there was a giant shard of metal sticking out of the one tire and the big hissing sound was air escaping through the tire. And it, I mean it was like the part sticking out was like the size of a half dollar. It was I mean, big. It was yeah. So we, that took us you know, to the pet boys and got the tire fixed and that was just a bad start to the morning. Uh, but we did find some good stuff which was we made you know made it worth it. it was just a big pain in the butt but a combination of things that we found over the last couple times i found more star trek as well uh this was kind of interesting i had to look this up because i had not seen this before Never star trek the next that. generation the next level a taste of tng in high definition high so death. this was uh, like a preview disc before the series started coming to blu-ray when they were doing the remaster showing off a little bit as three episodes. It has Daddy. the uh, encounter at Farpoint, Sins of the Father, and the Inner Light. That was a pretty, kind of random. Yeah, pretty interesting find there. Found the Steelbook <laughs> limited edition Blu-ray DVD combo of Serenity. Great movie. Uh, one of your favorite sci-fi movies easily. Right. Amanda is definitely a brown coat. She was one of those people on the forums and stuff with Firefly when I was on. And... My lord and savior Joss Whedon. So. And I found, for me, because you I can't That's pick, not for me? I can't picture you ever watching this. Uh, Guys. Gilligan's Island Season 1 and 2. Well, I know what I'm watching. Never. All day. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're being sarcastic. And then, we are now only one season away from finishing Babylon 5, because I found on DVD Season 1. One of my other favorites. And Season 4. Such a happy so, series. With these, and what we already have, we're only missing one season. Very upbeat. Very exciting. And we found... <gasps> What's that? Today, Amanda found for the store, collector's edition, Thomas and Friends, uh, The Early Years. On DVD, it's a, how many discs? Three, three discs, right? Mm -hmm. And this early, is this with uh, George Carlin as the conductor? I think so, which is really right. disturbing. <laughs> and we also found for the store on DVD, True Blood, the complete first True season blood. box Mr. set. False Blood. <laughs> What's and that? A Barbie camera. Barbie. I don't know how old this is. But yeah, we have to look and see. It was super cheap because it was by weight. Well, yeah, it was by weight. It's in the bargain room. And this uh, instant immersion Italian levels 1, 2, and 3. You're going to learn gonna learn Italian? Yeah, spaghetti. <laughs> nice. Manja, manja. See? You know Italian now. Yes, and found some VHS tapes. VHS oh. tapes? You, found you one, don't You found say. one there. We found uh, the Chippendale Rescue Rangers Double Trouble. That'll be for the store. It's a, it's a, uh, these two are for us. us. Ninja Mutant, yes. Ninja Turtles. I pretty much grabbed most Ninja Turtles tapes that I found. This one's cool. This is from the Burger King oh, Kids Club. Oh, that's so cool. And this is the Family Home Entertainment, the FHE. I remember seeing that logo all the time. It's so many tapes, but the foot on the back there. But yeah, I, I love the, the Turtles. Definitely like one of my favorite turtles. animated programs ever still. Better than that. Amanda found, we weirdly, won't. because we just found out that this existed, what, three days ago? Maybe? Yeah. Four days ago at most? And randomly found this at the thrift store. This is Rumpelstiltskin with Billy Barty. 
by Canon Films. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Which Amanda just discovered. Stay tuned. Yes, yes. There's going to be Amanda just discovered Canon Films last weekend. That's when we watched I it, right? discovered it when I was a little baby. Yeah, she had seen some Canon Films without knowing that they're Canon Films, but we watched uh, Electric Boogaloo, the documentary on Canon Films, and I had seen it before. Uh, Amanda hadn't, and we watched that. And, and she I fell was in like, love. she loves Canon Films, and we found out she had seen uh, the Canon Films Snow White. Which was, was one of my kid, favorites. And found out that it was a whole series of Canon Films fantasy. Movie Tales so, by Canon. Yeah. This is one of them. More to come. Yes, there's going to be a video all about those in the future. So. Very exciting. And then moving on to all these I don't know what that found. is. You need to explain that because I don't know what that is. Oh, just uh, for the store, I found most of a, the Just Ask books. I like hardcover, to ask hardcover kid, kids books, but they're all uh, what is you know, a cloud? What is a cloud? You know, what what, what is, is a farm? A farm? And then it, the whole book is about each topic. You know, why do, why does it thunder and lightning? And it talks about the scientific reasons why, in a you know, a fashion that's understandable for someone in roughly the I'd say like kindergarten age group. But I want Charlie Kelly to illustrate those. A stack of them. Oh my sunny. god, that would that would be funny. What is a river? But yes, like playing that crawlers, Charlie. Oh, oh yeah, I found is. one random book. Uh, one random book? Yeah, the Sailcloth <laughs> Shroud. That run. one, I'm going to check out and read and see if it's enjoyable or not. If not, that'll end up on the store. We have a bunch of left behind books. These are the kids' ones, which sell much better than the adult ones. Yes, I feel like those are harder to find, but they we live are. in an area that is heavily Christian conservative. So this type of thing sold very well in our area, and they are plentiful. So. Which is great. We have Kathy Ricks. Awesome. We've sold those before. Another good mystery author, Elizabeth Peters. You don't know who that is, but um, that's okay. I've never heard of these people before. That's okay. She's an Egyptologist. Uh, we have a Clifford. He's a big red dog. Have you heard of him? This Wuzzles? I've never seen this one. I was pretty excited about this. I'm gonna have to read it for myself. Yeah, I'll recognize that. Yeah, I've never seen that one. Uh, we have another Sabrina Teenage Witch, which is good because I feel like we have a, a, yeah, we have a decent we have a big lot. lot of these. Yeah, I've just been rewatching this. I'm on season seven. I'm almost done. Watching. Wow! I just watched the last episode and I cheated and went to the very end and it was bad. This is Fear Street. Oh my god, my favorite, Sweet Valley High. Oh my god. I've never read one of these. Have you? Why would you read that? <laughs> Why would I read <laughs> Some Horrible Harry. And a whole bunch more Magic Treehouse. Which is good, because yes. we need more. We got some Juni B. Jones. Again, need more. We have to replenish our, our yeah, we, store. Yeah, we plowed through a lot of those. Goosebumps, always good. Yeah, it's too bad it's a reprint. Cover. It's a reprint, but that's okay. I'll take it. We have... This is really pretty. You found this at the, in the bargain room. Yeah, in the bargain room. It's pretty covered, it is, but, it's, but it's, it's, it's a poetry book. But uh, Longfellow Poems. But it's... But it's really beautiful cover. So I'm going to have to research this a little bit before popping it up on the store. And I don't see. even know how old it is. Probably pretty old. This is from the Dear America series, the... Royal Diaries? Yes, the Royal Diaries. So, we have some of those up right now. I'll have to end that and put a new lot up. And we have a bunch of American Girl Doll books, which is awesome because they sell really well. These hold their value the for some reason. Magic School Bus, a couple of those here, and the author of the creator of Magic School Bus just died recently. I saw recently. that, it made me sad. Yeah. Everyone's dying. Stop dying! I used to watch that on PBS a lot. Stop dying! And then we took a chance on these. This is a huge fantasy series. Yeah, I think this close is close to if not the whole series. Yeah. I think this is, might be the whole the whole series of this. I don't know, but it is Carrie Vaughn? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, never, I don't know. Never, never heard, heard of these, of it, but but I figure if we put them all in a big lot, and we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna see. Right now, if it's fantasy and they're in really good shape. I don't really care, because we're just selling too much stuff right now. There's no to... such thing as selling too much. Too much! 
much. It's too much. Too much. We just got a ton of inventory, so there's a lot to sell through. And then is all that's then, left your weird thing? It's not weird. It's yeah. my crowning jewel. All right. I'm really excited I thought, about this. I thought this. this was your crowning jewel. But. That's very nice. My Rumpelstiltskin is very nice. But this is better. Shh, don't tell it. Okay, so. I don't, know, I don't know why we have this. <laughs> this is awesome. This is for okay. my library. Yeah. I wanted a real a real head for my library, but I was told I'm not allowed to have that. So this is the next best thing. It's beautiful, right? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is... It's from the 70s. It's Elleville, which is uh, uh, amitriptyline. It's a, it's a happy drug. Happy drug. It's a happy drug. I don't know what this is supposed to be showing me about the drug, but I don't care. It's you, beautiful. You said it's an uh, antidepressant. This is it? well. It's used for a lot of different things. Antipsychotic. It's not antipsychotic. What is it? I don't it's know just what it is. sleep. It's for sadness. When you feel sad, you just look at this. And you feel better. Yeah. Do you feel better? Yeah, I feel great. It's it's working. It's working. I love it. Yeah. I'm very happy about this. This is awesome. So it's uh, another weekend and some more thrift store finds and also I guess I'll show I got this while we're out I got this as a new shirt. Ah. Oh, up recently. It's beautiful. Kind of but yeah. So, beautiful. Yeah, we will. And we got I got a patch in the tire. Oh yeah. We got we got a pretty tire. They yeah. didn't let us keep the little shard yeah. though. Yeah, just not not a great way to start the morning, but whatever. That's okay.